Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video, I'm really excited to share with you all how to put braids, locks, whatever you have under a wig. Now, this is something I've been wanting to share with you guys for a while. I think this is very important because a lot of people feel like they cannot wear locks if, and also have wigs, especially if they're really long. So I did my own braids. I've been braiding hair for a long time. That's something you probably didn't know. You guys know, so I've been wearing my braids for about a month now. You all have seen me even share, you know, wig videos while still in braids. I thought it would be great to show you guys and not keep this secret on how you can actually wear your braids and still wear a wig when you want to switch it up but you just don't really want to take your braids out or if you have locks that is permanent and you want to switch it up a little bit just to try out some styles. So I'm going to give you all a lot of tips in today's video so make sure you watch to the end. Be sure to subscribe and I'm going to show you how to go from this to this in minute sleeve. How natural this wig look like. Let's get right into today's video. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Share it with someone that you feel like could be helpful with and leave me a comment. Let me know do you have braids, dreads, or would you wear wigs if you had dreads? This wig is from Pretty Lux Hair. It will be linked below in the description box. This wig is absolutely amazing. So yeah, let's get into it and I'm going to show you guys how I covered my braids with a wig. The wig in today's video is a 13 by 6 cap. The first tip I want to give is when you are putting a wig over top of dreads or locks that are long, you want a density that is 180%. You do not want to go below that. You also want a cap size that's bigger than your natural head size. That way it gives you room to be able to lay your wig. I will have this wig linked in the description box for you guys also with a discount code. So these are how long my braids are. When I'm wearing my wigs, it's normally temporarily. I feel like this is for someone who is doing a photo shoot. They want to change their hairstyle or an event. They just want to change and wear a wig for a day. This is not something I feel like that is you should do like for a long term period. So the first thing I'm going to do is split the hair in half in two sections. And I'm going to braid the ends only. Do not put any of the braid at the top. You want the top part of your hair to lay as flat as possible. So I'm going to braid this all the way down to the end. And I'm going to also repeat the same thing on the other side. The goal here is to be able to wear a temporary style. If your braids are shorter, it will be a lot easier, of course, if your dreads or braids are shorter than what mine are. Mine are waist length. So So the first thing I'm doing is wrapping the braids into a bun as you can see and I'm pinning it with hairpins and this is going to help keep it in place so that it will not fall out of place. You want to also make sure that bun isn't too high at the top of your head because like I said you don't want the top part of your head to have a bulge. Of course the back is fine just make sure you tuck um, everything into your wig cap. I'm going to now take that wig cap and apply it over top and tuck every single one of the braids under that wig cap. And yes, if you got a good wig cap, it could definitely stretch and feel comfortable. And then I'm also going to take some hair pins and just pin um, the cap onto those braids so it won't move. Now, like I said, if your braids are shorter, it will be easier. And again, this is why I say that the density of the wig matter. You cannot do this if your dreads are, or braids are really long with a 120 density wig or even 150. You need 180% or more in order to pull this off. Okay. And also, just depending on how long your braids are, you may can do shorter styles. It just depends. But if you subscribe to my channel, I will be doing different styles so you can actually get to see that for yourself. So make sure you subscribe before you leave. Let's jump into installing this wig. Again, this wig will be linked below in the description box. So with the cap, of course, like I said, you want to make sure your cap size is bigger than your head if your dreads are long. Just a size up, basically. So putting it on, you're going to get like a snug fit. You can use glue if you want to. But like I said, with this style and me having braids, it's temporary, so I don't need to glue it down. And if you're wondering if it's bulgy in the back, as you can see, it looks very natural. And that's because the density of the wig is big enough to hide any lumps or bumps you may have. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and 
probably just remove the lace but the lace on this wig is gorgeous it's so invisible and as you can see the hairline looks beautiful with this wig you want the top part to lay as flat as possible but of course the wig is going to look like it has a lot of volume just because of the braids but the most important thing you want to do here is make sure your parting and the top part of your hair is flat we don't want that big head look but look at the knots girl i bleached the knots on this wig by the way that's why it looks like scalp it looks so good but the parting is very deep you get that six inch deep parting with this wig the t real test is when you go to do that part will it lay flat and if you have flattened down the top part of your braids you won't have any issues so i just take my hot comb and lay everything down and flatten it to make sure that it lays very natural. All right, so as you can see, it looks really good so far. I haven't even cut the lace. We're gonna do that right now. And removing the lace is the same exact way. You can remove that lace just with some small scissors. Um, and of course, as you can see, this wig can be worn glueless. It does have the combs and adjustable straps. If your cap size is over braids, it's definitely gonna lay flat. As you can see the hairline, everything lays flat, but it's gonna feel snug, so you probably won't even need glue. I absolutely love the hairline. It is gorgeous on this wig. And as you can see, that lace is laying. So if you wanted to glue it, you can. For today's style, I'm using my wand curler to just create big waves. I'm not really trying to do like a style style. I just kind of want to bring back that body wave look to the hair. This is a body wave texture, so I'm just, you know, giving it that look again. And here is the finished result. As you can see, it looks amazing. Drop me some comments and let me know what you think. That's how I wear braids and still be able to make these wonderful videos for you guys. Now you can glue your wig down if you want to, but I feel like this style is for anyone who needs a quick hairdo, who wanna switch it up, but not maybe make it a long-term wear so if you do have dreads or if you do want braids but you just want a quick hairstyle for the night or you want for a photo shoot whatever you're doing this is the way you do it and i hope this was helpful don't forget to thumbs up the video don't forget to share it and also leave me a comment subscribe if you are new here and i will see you all back in my next video